Hey everybody, my name is Scott. I'm with the Arizona Hot Tub Factory and they call me the Spa Man. Today I'm going to show you how to wire a hot tub from your main breaker box to a sub panel to your pack itself. This is a four wire hot tub utilizing number six wires. Now we use number six wire in my area so that's what I'm going to go with. So check your local codes, check up. You know, your safety, I'm not sure of the word that I'm looking for, but check to make sure that it's proper. But this particular pack requires a four wire GFI using number six wires. Now, in your main panel, you're gonna put a 50 amp breaker, which requires two hot wires. You got a red wire that's number six, you got a black wire that's number six. It also requires a white wire, which is also referred to as a neutral wire, or a could be referred to as a common wire. It also has the ground wire, which is green. Now, some people like to use different types of wires. Like they'll use a white wire and they'll put red tape at one end and red tape at the other. And this lets you know that this is a hot wire. I do not like to do it this way because the tape can fall off. Some people will take a red wire and put green tape at one side and green tape at the other side. This is legal, this is safe, as long as the, as the tape does not fall off. Personally speaking, I just don't like to do it this way, but I did want to show you this because occasionally you'll get into a used hot tub that you might buy or you're helping a friend work on a hot tub and you'll see it with tape on it. I wanted to make sure you understood this isn't a white wire, this is a red hot wire. So that being said, you got your 50 amp uh, breaker, you got your two hot wires coming out of the bottom. I always put the red on the left. I like the color red. Black goes on the right. You got your common, you got your ground. Okay, we're gonna come over here to your um, sub panel. I'm gonna pull this breaker out. I'm gonna push it to the side. I'm gonna show you how this is wired. The two hot wires come through here. They're gonna come around and the red wire, there again, the red wire will go over on the left and I put the black wire on the right. Okay, these are your two hot lugs. Your white wire is gonna come and it's gonna go to this lug right here. This is your common wire, or it could also be referred to as a neutral. Your ground wire is all the way at the bottom, and it is screwed in right here, and it is screwed into the box. The common wire is isolated in plastic to keep it away from touching anything. Now, once you've got all that wired, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your breaker, and you're going to put your breaker in foot. I'm going to snap it in place, and you just push the breaker down. Okay, now I'm going to show you what a breaker looks like without all the wires. This is a GFI with the white pigtail. On the bottom of the GFI, you got three places that wires go. The one on the left is a hot hole. The one in the second is where your common or your neutral wire goes. It always goes in the center wire. I've never seen a breaker that the common wire did not go in this hole. Over on the right is your other hot lug. Now these three holes and these three connectors are what's going to go out to the pack itself. So it goes, everything comes into the box and then it's going to come out this breaker and it's going to go to the uh, pack. This pigtail will come out of this breaker right here. This pigtail comes around and I just curl it around and it goes into this common barb right here. This is where it goes. It goes right to here and it screws right to there. Now. I've seen people hook it up to the ground. If you hook it up to the ground, it will pop the breaker when you turn it on. If you hook it up any place else other than to this spot, it's gonna pop the breaker. Okay, now we're gonna go to the pack. This is by far the easiest pack to wire. On the side is your ground bars. This, these grounding wires will go off to your motors and they'll also go to the pack. On the inside, it's marked. There again, it's color coordinated on the inside. You got green right here. Up here, you've got your white. Up here, you've got your black, you've got your red. You're gonna run your, your wires in here. Now, leave your wires about eight inches long so that you can come through here, you can run the green around, and you can go through the hole right here, and then you come out here with a screwdriver. You'll come through the hole, and then you'll come out here with a screwdriver and tighten it down. Same thing with the white wire. I take the white wire and I'll curl it around and then I'll stick the white wire in the hole and I tighten it down. And then you'll go to the black wire, the red wire. Balboa packs, this is a Balboa pack. 
are the easiest hot tubs or easiest packs to wire in a hot tub. If you follow what I've showed you how to do, you should have no problem. Now, after you've got everything wired, your hot tub is full of water. And what I mean by full of water, it's up higher than the highest jet, maybe just a half an inch. Because when your body goes in, the water will rise. So you just need to make sure it's that high. Take your filters out. You're gonna go over. You're gonna take your breaker and you're gonna flip your breaker on. If the breaker stays on and sets, everything you've done up until this point is correct. Once that's done, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna take this, you're gonna flip it on. If you're close enough to your pack, you should hear a click, click, click. Sometimes there's a fourth click, usually three, okay? If the breaker turns around and pops on you, either A, you wired something wrong here, B, you wired something wrong here, or C, you have something wrong with your pack. So anyways, I'm just trying to show you that it's not that hard to wire your hot tub yourself. If you have any questions, if, you have, if I didn't explain this well enough, please leave a comment in the, uh, in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to my page. I'll build it. If there's something that I have not shown you in this video, or if there's something that you're having a problem with a hot tub, if you put it in the comments below, I look at these comments quite often, I'll do a video for you as well as anybody else, or I'll refer you to a video that I've already done to maybe the a, a minute before that part that you're looking at and a couple minutes after to where you could watch it. Uh, if you send me an email, leave it in the comments. I will get back to you and I'll help you get your hot tub running any way I can. So with that, my name is Scott. I'm with the Arizona Hot Tub Factory. They call me the Spa Man. And please remember, it's just a hot tub in the backyard. It's full of water and it's blowing bubbles. Don't go crazy. And with that, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot, everybody.